Good morning and welcome to Frank's School. Uh, I'm Gloss again. Here's here's Gloss. And uh, let's see, this is a six day, a six year, 82nd day first video uh, uh, in real time. Uh, but I'm, I'm looking back. I mean, that's what Gloss is doing. He's going back and looking at Frank's School. And uh, now I'm going up through uh, the first year, the 41st day, second video. Uh, and I have since the last time I was here at Gloss, <clears throat> I've created the playlist Gloss. I think there's maybe three videos on it, and this will be the fourth. So, it, it, and and just maybe remind you that a gloss is a commentary. Let me adjust that. I, I changed some things here yesterday. I, um, a, a gloss is a commentary, and so I'm look. I'm in a sense taking my own. Course and, and, and I'm making commentary. Not too much really to say, though. I, I've been surprised at that. I thought I'd have a whole lot to add or detract or not too much. Um, what in this period that I've just covered, what I did there was I explained and went through this this uh, uh, process called class vocabulary, which I've changed now. I'm going to call that words. Uh, and I'll keep you updated as soon as I know more about whether or not I'm able to get into the local jail w with that e experience as a volunteer teacher. I'll let you know. But in any case, I explain that. And there is a playlist called Class Vocabulary in which I show it other years where I made that effort to make it work. Um, I, I covered that, and I also covered linguistics in a sort of a junior high school or a eighth grade way. I mean, I offering some fairly deep thoughts about linguistics, but and I realized perfectly well that that's not normally taught at, at the uh, you know to third, fourteen year olds or thirteen or fourteen years olds. But I don't see any reason why they can't uh, understand it, and uh, I feel. Quite strongly that it's a way to set the stage for what's coming uh, with uh, the study of grammar and syntax and then foreign language, which I explained. So that's what I did. And now, in a way, I'm, I'm only doing this because I've come to a, a, a pause or, or at least a, a shift. Now, uh, in that first year, Frank turns his attention to these two things, grammar. Uh, and uh, and then uh, and and at the same time, uh, the Old Testament, because coming up in chronological order in the humanities, I reached the point where uh, <clears throat> the the he Hebrew uh, literature uh, it, it, we encounter that, and, and uh, I, I call it the Old Testament. But I explain about you know you could also talk about the Torah or the Talmud or, uh, but. Uh, and, but I teach it as literature. Now, I was always taking a little bit of a chance uh, doing this in a public school because that's the Bible. I mean, people, uh, you know, it's, it's a public school. You can't be teaching Christianity or, or Judaism or something. That's a religion in a public school. But as literature, uh, I was never very seriously challenged on that. I think, actually, probably more parents... Were, were content or, or happy that I was teaching that stuff. Maybe imagining that I was act, acting like a Sunday school teacher, which I was not. I was really dealing with it as literature. So anyway, that's coming, and so it seemed like a good place to pause. Uh, I'll be brief because uh, actually I'm sort of anxious to go on. I find my course actually quite easy watching. I hope others can find it that way too. I, I don't know. Um, I think it, it just it just moves right along. Oh, I know something I was going to say. So by now, I've introduced class vocabulary, which was really every week. I mean, that was a third of my time, the whole time I was teaching, really. So class vocabulary would be the first third or so of the period. Then the rest of the period, I'd make that shift to, I would sometimes call it the main event, which would be grammar, or the Old Testament is literature, usually not both. I'd usually maybe do this for a few days or a week or something and then go over to this. This kept uh, consistent. Well, I'm may, maybe quite a while. I don't know when I'll show up again as gloss, but uh, I'm now ready to go on with my, uh, my uh, witnessing my former work. Bye for now.